So welcome, let's begin with the last set for your CSET examination. Now the first question here is on a clock problem. So as you could see this time you had problems from all the aspects. You had a calendar question, you had a clock question, uh, LCM questions, percent questions. So all aspects of quant have been covered despite the fact very few questions from maths, a lot of questions from reading comprehension and logic reasoning. So still everything was covered. So uh, let's begin with the very first question. The wall clock moves 10 minutes faster in every 24 hours that means the speed is 24 plus 1 sixth so that is 10 minutes faster so it is 1 sixth now when you solve it it is 145 by 6 now this much is gained during how much this much is gained during 1 hour so basically this gains how much you have 1 by 6 hours that is 10 minutes faster so 1 hour would gain how much would be 1 by 6 multiplied by 6 divided by 145 so this would be 1 by 145 hours of gain that would be seen now from 8 am monday till 6 pm wednesday how many hours are there so there would be 8 am to uh, 8 uh, PM Monday would be 12 hours okay then again 8 a.m. on uh, the morning would be 12 hours more and so on so you calculate this you add this and you get how many hours 58 hours now you have 58 hours that the clock has moved so how much it has gained 58 divided by 140 5 and that is you solve this you get it as 2 by 5 that is 24 minutes if I multiply it by 60 that is 12 so you have 24 minutes that it has gained since the time is 6 p.m. what is the correct time and it is a gain so I would have to deduct 24 from it and therefore it would be 5 p.m. and 36 minutes so 5 hours and 36 minutes as pm so 5 hours 36 minutes would be my right answer the next question is numerator and denominator as a proper fraction fraction so let's say 1 by 2 i add same number to the numerator and the denominator so let's say i add 3 it becomes 4 by 5 when i simplify it's 0 0.5 and it's 0 0.8 so it would be always greater than the original fraction you can solve it for any other combinations that you want now this series is a very interesting alternate series so you have 2 square 4 square 6 square 8 square here you have 14 square 12 square 10 square and 8 square so 8 square is how much 64 the next is 15 group of people, 7 can read French, 8 can read English. So 7 and 8. Out of this 15, 3 can read neither. So how many left here? So you have 12 left. Out of this 12 now, together both of those read how much? 15. So what is common between this is 3. Now individually how much can read French would be 4. How much can read English would be 5. 5 plus 3 is 8 and 3 plus 4 is 7 here. So who can read exactly one language is 4 plus 5. So 4 plus 5 that is 9 would be your right answer. The next question is pretty simple. What you can do is you can set the choices and see what it works. So B would work fine here. So you have C, C, A, C, C. I break it. Then you have A, A, B. A, A, I break it. Then you have B, B, C, B, B. So that's the correct order. And with this, you have B as the right option. The next is, a family has two child plus the mother, which weighs 50. So the total weight would be 15 to 3. That's 150. Now, two child plus father, the weight would be how much? 52 into 3, that is 156. So father minus mother would be 6. Now father is 60. So what would be mother? 54. So mother's weight would be 54 kg. Next question is A starts from his house, walks 20. Then B joins, walks 10. Now both of the friend A travels left while B turns right. So B would be turning right, going down. He would travel 4 and then 
five. However, he would travel four kilometers to the left, and then he would travel to the right. That is five kilometers. Okay. So from this side, you would have B turns to the left. So B turns to the left. So this is the left for B. He travels four kilometers, followed by a right. That is five. Okay. A turns to the right. to the right and travels 12 kilometers then he uh, reaches the office so uh, just a second there was one line that was missed okay so they travel 20 kilometers and then 10 kilometers i missed this line a turns left while b turns right so a would be turning left and b would be right so a in this direction b in this direction And travels two and eight, so we miss this. This was two, and this was eight. Now B turns left. From this position, it would turn left. That is this side. It would go four, and once it has gone four, it would turn right and go five. So this would be the position for the B's office. Now from here, A would travel right and go twelve kilometers. So this would be twelve. Now this is four. I marked the line for four here. So what remains is. Eight here, and this becomes two plus eight, that is ten. Ten plus five, that is fifteen. So I have to find out the shortest distance. So this is eight. This is fifteen. Right angle triangle. I find the Pythagoras theorem. I apply the Pythagoras theorem. I get the answer as seventeen. So seventeen would be my. I just cover that again. Another question on calendar you have. So which year would have same year as two thousand nine? So every year we have one odd. day that is there so across the seven years you would have seven days and those seven days would make the same calendar year so i would add seven to it so you would have 2015 would be having the same calendar year as 2009 so after 2009 you would have 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so seven the next is you have a number 7a Three, which is exactly divisible by three. Now seven plus three is ten. I make the nearest number. Let's say twelve. So twelve. That means twelve is divisible by three. So what would be this number? This number would be two. So a is equal to two. Now I subtract seven twenty three. I subtract one thirty six. So what number I get is seven, eight, and five. So that makes it this. So B becomes my eight. So eight would be my answer. A very direct question. The next is a passage which talks about political theory and uh, the history of injustice. How the things have changed over the years. So the general discrimination acquiring uh, the partial autonomy from others is the main idea. So what we can infer from the passage that. it is difficult not impossible to repair every manifestation of historical injustice uh, that has been explained here in the sentence where we take the concept of wrongs that have been done or the works that have been done so a uh, note on the variety of historical wrongs that continue to be present in some form and with this statement we can uh, support the answer that is here the next is talking about soil the concept of soil erosion how it has been uh, increasing over the years and soil is basically is a Uh, place which could trap the carbon dioxide in the form of organic carbon so what is assumed in the passage so when we say assumed in the passage we can say sustainable management techniques help to combat soil uh, help to combat climate change that's correct soil erosion uh, it does not give a reason that it's anthropogenic in nature a large scale soil erosion is uh, not the major uh, thing which talks about food insecurity so it's not talking about food insecurity in the passage so you have three only as the right option the next passage talks about inequality so where all inequality is seen how it acts how it 
uh, affects the various spheres has been mentioned so which of the following assumptions is true economic power can be analyzed more through the effect than by the direct empirical method uh, the passage one uh, the statement one that is there it does not claim that there is only uh, one driving variable of inequality that is present so this is not the correct statement and the second statement is what is said is opposite in the passage so it talks about the forces of gravity power in organizing the inequality as income wealth race and gender so that is again it's not reinforcing okay so that's what is opposite so you have three only as the right answer okay the next question talks about climate change so uh, it talks about how we have seen over the years the things have changed the farmlands may benefit from warming and some may not so there are different crops depending on the pattern they might or might not benefit so what could be inferred from the passage farmers who modernize their methods and diversify could be in a good position because of climate change you could have uh, certain crops that could thrive well certain crops that could not thrive well so the agricultural practices needs to be in line with uh, the change and that's that could be brought about by diversification the next is a article or a uh, write up about the bat's wing how it looks like and how uh, the wings of the bat should be constructed or the basic idea behind it so the focus is on the evolutionary history that man and bat uh, have a common evolutionary history which talks about the same five fingers as the orangutan or human so bat having a similar wing feature as the human fingers so that talks about a common evolutionary history the last question is about the uh, warming that took place under the uh, pleistocene a uh, paleocene eocene thermal maximum period during this time the carbon injected injected into the atmosphere was more than the total burning of the coal oil natural gas present in today's world so that time until and unless the released carbon was reabsorbed the things could not be brought to life so it could be brought on droughts floods or extinction cases that could be seen so what could be explained from the above passage so from the above passage we can say global warming has a bearing on the planet's biological evolution also higher warming of the atmosphere can change the composition of flora and fauna so one and three become the right explanation the passage 2 does not say uh, that the release was due to the separation so this becomes the incorrect statement and therefore you have 1 and 3 as the right option so with this we cover all the sets of your c set paper 2 as well as your gs paper 1 will be coming up with very important lectures for your mains so stay subscribed uh, we will also be taking a lot of lectures for prelims a lot of lectures from the expected questions Uh, what we covered was part of your question paper especially in the sections on science and technology so stay tuned also we would be starting with down to earth as a lot of focus was there on down to earth uh, aptitude you had a variety of coverage that was there so we have been covering this through our lectures you can just check out the playlist and search on the relevant videos you would get a lot of practice material there have a wonderful day ahead